In this video, we will be showing you how to replace a belt for these listed models. The first thing to keep in mind when you're taking off the old belt is to remember how much spacers there is on each shaft, and also to pay attention to which spacers are installed behind or in front of the pulleys. The first assembly step would be to pry the rotor over to the belt chamber as much as possible, and then loosen the motor mount bolts if they are not already, and then loosen these belt tensioner bolts in order for the belt to be able to go on easier. Put your spacers and taper hubs on the shaft. Remember to put in the same amount of spacers as there was when taking the belt assembly apart. With a straight edge, check if the taper hubs line up within 1 8 of an inch. If they don't, make sure to add more or less spacers for both of the taper hubs to line up. Take the taper hubs off again. Put the keys in and put the top pulley and taper hub on. Rest the belt over the top pulley. Now put the bottom pulley and taper hub on. Start the taper hub bolts, put the shaft extension in, and then start the center bolt. Do the same to the bottom, but the bottom won't need a shaft extension. If the shaft is still sticking out, then you will need to put another spacer on this side of the taper hub. Tighten the center bolts. Now go around and evenly tighten the taper hub bolts, and then jam the rotor before torquing the bolts. Torque them to the right specification. In this case, the right specifications would be 60 foot pounds for the top taper hub bolts, and the bottom taper hub bolts would be 15 foot pounds. Make sure that the ribs on the belt are sitting nicely in the grooves of the pulley, then you can evenly tighten these belt tensioner bolts. The proper belt tension specs would be half inch deflection at four and a quarter pounds of force on a new belt, and half inch deflection at three pounds of force for a used belt. Tighten the motor mount bolts. Check the belt tension once again. Using a straight edge, check once again if the pulleys are aligned. If they are not aligned within one eighth of an inch, you will have to take one of the taper hub and pulleys off to add or remove a spacer. To remove a taper hub, loosen these bolts and start them in these holes. Then go around and tighten them evenly until the hub slips out of the pulley. But before installing the taper hub bolts again, Make sure to sand the ends of the bolts down to prevent stripping threads. Then run it for a bit and inspect the belt before use. 